Jeremy, of course, here, and uh, Darunda van der Merwe here from South Africa, a town outside of Cape Town. And so they've been here this week, and I've been watching how the Lord has been touching them. So tell us what the Lord has done for you. Good morning, River Church. So all the way from Cape Town, we've been leaning into what God is doing here through Pastors Rodney and Adonica. And in our nation, when lockdown happened, we just saw them take a stand. And we decided we're going to stand with them. We never closed down our church. We never wore masks. We never did social distancing. We had some religious people leave because we hugged them too much. But God did something supernatural by just leaning into what God is doing here. And in the middle of the pandemic, we opened a community center and we focused on reaching the prostitutes, the gangsters, and we reached the broken and the destitute. And through this community center, we have seen God reach people that the church are too afraid to go after. We've seen gangsters come in, stabbing somebody last night, coming in, getting convicted by the Holy Ghost, giving down their knives, laying down their lives to Jesus. We've seen different gang members be restored, forgive each other, and be repaired in the community. We've seen prostitutes come off the streets, and all because we decided we're going to take a stand with Pastors Rodney and Pastor Adonica. But then we came here, we said, you know what, we need to refuel. We need to refire. We need to get as close to what's happening here as we possibly can. And supernaturally, God made a way for us to get here. In the natural, it seemed impossible. But somebody phoned us, blessed us with the money to get here, got blessed with accommodation, got blessed with food. So we were here absolutely on faith because God opened the door. And from that first meeting, the gift of faith fell upon us. Right now, we are trusting God to buy a property to expand what God is doing in Cape Town. And I believe we've been here to receive a deposit of faith to reach our city for God. Now, last night was something spectacular. My wife is the crazy one, you can see that, but she's getting me drunk, but last night when we saw our nation, I mean, we've seen those clips thousands of times, but last night seeing those clips, a fresh fire for our nation fell upon us. And we say, Lord, if not now, then when? Lord, if not now, then when and I believe we received a fresh baptism of fire a gift of faith to shake the nation of South Africa and I believe one year down the line we'll be back next year with testimony upon testimony upon testimony of what the fire we got here is doing in our nation and I believe you don't realize that you're not just saving America but you are saving continents you are refiring and reaching the nations of the world. We just want to honor Pastors Rodney, Pastor Adonica, for what you've invested in our lives. Just leaning in on YouTube, leaning in on your website, just being part of what God is doing. And we believe that this was a moment of destiny to get the fire we need to run the mandate God has given us. So thank you so much for pouring into us and giving us the fire. Praise. Hallelujah. Praise to Yara. Praise to Yara. Amen. You can't speak. Prat Afrikaans. Prat and Tala. Okay, God bless you. Thank you so much.